which is unconscious competence in your marketing. Here in Atlanta, there's instead of mulch in the garden beds, there's pine straw. And people like it. But in Michigan, they pay you to get rid of that crap. Check, check, check. There we go. Okay, I'll start over from the top. How about that? Thank you so much, everybody. My name is Keith Kelfis. Thank you for having me here to present and share what I've learned about marketing and developing uh, systems to automate the sales and marketing inside of your service business. Conscious incompetence with your marketing is that when you get to phase number two, and that's where you start asking questions. You start looking out at what other people are doing in their marketing. Come on, you gotta get your buddy. Go buddy, go get the poo poo. Go get the buddy, I just get buddy. I just get my I just get People are looking at me right now. This guy's, this guy's a schizophrenic. Come on, we gotta go for a car ride. And then we gotta go on the airplane. Right now we're going to Paul Jameson's radio studio to do a podcast dog. Paul Jameson. We're hanging out with him right now. Look at this. You're crazy. What's up, everybody? Check out my podcast with Keith Kalfas and Ashley Kalfas. That was awesome. What's your podcast again? It is the Green Industry Podcast. Green Industry Podcast. On iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, wherever you have podcasts. This is an awesome conversation. Ashley and Keith shared how they fell in love, how they started their business, a bunch of their uh, trial moments. And well, we had some fun. Talked about Greek, Greek the free, Greek chisel. Yeah, no. Nice. <sighs> oh, so gangster. There's no denial what we want. There's no denial what we want. Playing games though. There's no denial what we want. There's no denial what we want. Playing games though. There's no denial what we want. Yummy. That was so good. We just ate lunch. What was that? A turkey and a chicken croissant? Yeah. I wanted to get a cappuccino, but sugar. I don't like too much sugar now. It just makes me all weirded out. This is like the Avalon Mall in Alpharetta. It looks a little bit like Rodeo Drive, right? So where you want to go next, honey bun? Go to the gift shop. The gift shop to get a souvenir. That's where we're going. So we're in Atlanta, Georgia, and this is the Tesla store. Oh, that is so dope. And this this car goes zero to sixty in what? Two point two point nine seconds. Zero to sixty, and this one is. Well, this is the standard model yeah. right now, so we're in the higher threes with this one, but we can get yeah. it down to 2.4, 2.3 2.3 seconds? Oh, this one. Zero uh, this to one's this one's 130 grand? This is dope. We're getting a Tesla, for sure. Hands down. Wow. This is dope. The whole ceiling is glass. The door literally just I'm so inspired right now. This thing is gangster. Wow, dude. We we're about to get an ice cream. And we're like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not in the mood for ice cream, bro. 
eat a whole big ice cream and it's dripping down your hand. For some reason when I eat dairy products, I feel kind of like this. I don't like it. But the mint mint chocolate chip ice cream is her favorite. Is it your favorite? My favorite in the whole wide world. I love mint chocolate chip. From Baskin Robbins, though. Baskin Robbins, doubt. They have the best ice cream. Dogs psychically know they were getting close. Probably. And then they stick and feel the vibration and get excited. Do you think so? Mm-hmm. 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 Let's find out right now. Oh my god, it's the babies. Oh the babies. How oh my god is daddy's Hi. baby. Oh, she's so beautiful. Hi, Bobbies. Come on. Oh my god, the dog threw up in here in the hotel rooms. Now we're going for that car ride. With the mama and the dad. Come Ow! We're cruising around Atlanta. It's beautiful down here. There's like, we pulled in through this neighborhood of these monster houses. everywhere. Whoa, beautiful plants. That one's cool. Look at that. It's okay, baby. I know you're excited. Yeah. Where Einstein said imagination is more important than intelligence. It's so one of the coolest places I've ever been. I feel like we could be like, you know, in a different country. This is epic. So there's a couple ways to look at this. If you were like a botanical person or like an editor for a magazine or somebody who's a botanist or horticulture, you would know the names and be excited about knowing the names of every single thing here because we're in a botanical garden. I was listening to an audiobook, a speech by Dr. Wayne Dyer one time. He was talking about uh, when you know the name of every plant, you negate it because you put it inside of a human box based on thoughts. And it's really not that um, because we've just created all this stuff and you actually take away from the pleasantness of things in nature when you try to put a name in, on everything, right? You just enjoy it for how God created it and for what it is. So when you label something, you negate it, including yourself, right? I'm smart, I'm stupid, I'm funny, I'm rich, I'm poor, I'm whatever. We aren't really any of those things. We, do, we just are. We are infinite. We are aware. Oh, I'm labeling it. No label. 